Okay, let's crack on. So what we're going to do in this step is we're going to create a height map, which is basically a black and white image, um, well, black and white, and then various shades of gray in between. Not 50 shades of gray, many more shades of gray than that. Um, and what that image does is it tells Maya um, which bits of the geometry you want to be raised up and which bits you want to be left alone. So white represents the bits that are going to be high uh, and black represents the bits that stay put. So we're going to create that image in Photoshop. There we are, that's Photoshop. So um, the first thing you're going to need to do is create a new document. So file new and you can see I've already done this once so I've got my document set up as I would like it so I'm going to call it terrain HM for terrain height map and the width and height need to be 1024 by 1024 and that's in pixels uh, and I can pretty much leave everything else alone it's at 72 pixels per inch I could raise that or lower that if I wanted but it's fine as it is so I go to OK and it creates me a nice square canvas. For those of you that aren't fantastic with your Photoshop shortcuts, uh, at this stage you can press Control and Zero, ta-da, and that will just make your canvas fill the screen, which you may or may not want to do. Okay, so now what we need to do is create something that's going to represent a bit of a sort of mountainous, hilly terrain. So in order to do that, Photoshop comes with a nice filter built in, uh, and we find that in Filter, Render, and then you can use one or the other clouds or difference clouds. I'm just going to go with clouds. I don't need to be complicating it with difference clouds. Um, but difference clouds just sort of creates a bit of a, a tighter one. The clouds is a bit more spread out. So when I click on that, this is the image it gets me. Uh, and if you don't like the first one, I'm not a massive fan of that. You can do it again until you get one that you do like the look of. Ooh. Ugh. No. No. Yeah, why not? Okay, so this will be my starting point for my terrain. Um, the only sort of issue is, as I said um, just a second ago, the bits that are left alone are black. Now at the moment, there's not a lot of black on here, so it, pretty much everything's being raised. So I do want to just have a bit more black in the image and have a little bit less white. So I'm gonna sort of turn the grays down a little bit as well. So to do that, make sure you've got your background layer selected and then click on this little half moon looking thing down here and that creates a new adjustment layer and we're going to change the levels and it's this funky little graph here that we're going to play with so the first thing I'm going to do is just move this black one here to turn the blacks up and you can see that's having an effect and then I'm just going to pull the grey across as well just to lower the grey scale down there we go and I am going to make the whites a little bit whiter so there you go, so that's the sort of terrain that I've created. So this is not finished yet, but it is finished for this step. Um, so what we need to do at this stage is save it. And we're gonna save it twice, um, which is good practice. So I'm gonna save it once as a Photoshop file. And that means that I can come back and edit it at any point and all the layers will be intact. And then I'm gonna save a copy of it as a target file. Uh, and that target file is the one that I'll use in Maya as the height map. Okay, so let's do that file, shave eyes, there it is. Okay, so Terrain HM is a, it's just a damn good name. I'm going to leave it at that. So I'm going to save that in my Terrain project folder that I created in the previous step, and it's going to go in Source Images. Save. So that bit's easy as peas. Okay, right, so I'll let that finish saving, and then I'll go in again, File, Save As, and this time... I want to save it as a target, and this is the one that we're going to use. Okay, so then I'm going to click on save again. Uh, yep, that's all right. Uh, whenever you're saving a target, unless you've got a any transparency on there, which for this exercise we're not going to be using transparency, you should save it at 24 uh, bits per pixel. You only need 32 if you've got that extra information. So I'm going to click on OK. Right, that'll do it for that step. Um, I will see you in the next step where we shall take this bad boy into Maya and see what effect it has on geometry. That didn't work. I'll try again.